So these two sped up videos are the videos that I did yesterday. So this 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 is part one of part two, and uh, part two is going to be a lot more difficult because I'm going to be putting a lot more trucks in uh, in harm's way. So enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget to like. So in a way, the setup is pretty similar, but I can't I can't drive to the left to get my axles over. So basically, this will be a ninety degree back. Um, slightly, I'll probably, uh, we'll see in just a second. I kind of do this by feel. Uh, again, I can't, I won't be turning to the right until, I don't know, my axles get to roughly around where this truck is. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn it to the right now. Yes. Okay. Now, that's my setup. Okay. All right, just readjusted the camera. So, so there's my setup and I'm just going to start slightly jackknifing. Now, I'm basically trying to run my truck parallel to this line because uh if I do need to do any adjustments, the front of my cab won't be hitting it. So, if I do want to uh start chasing it, remember now, so if I start chasing it, I'm going to be turning to the left and the front of my cab is going to go to the right. All right. So, I can do slight adjustments if I need to. Let's go a little bit to the right. And now we're going to go back to getting my truck parallel. All right. We're not, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. I need it to be closer to this guy. See, if I jackknife... Okay, look, let, let, let me show you. If I, so if I jackknife hard now, okay, and then I start chasing it, look where my truck is. It's already at the wall. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull out, pull off. Getting, yeah. It's just now I'm now I'm just messing with the wall, and I'm keep jackknifing more and more. And it's just so. Oh, did you, am I actually pulling this off? Maybe. I might be okay. So I got to stop there. I'm not, I wasn't a fan of it though. It's, it was a gamble. I just feel like if I kept going. And they can see, as you can see here, I still might not be able to. And it's so bloody dangerous with the other truck right there. All these adjustments. I think, I, yeah, I can pull this off. But we're going to do it again, though. There we go. I just, th that was too much of a gamble for me. And, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. And I hit him. I'm sorry, dude. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the back of my trailer, not the front of my cab. See, these are the mistakes you make in the real world if you're only paying attention to one thing. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. I just, I can do it better. I know I can. So we're going to do a straight 90, and I'm going to try not to think too much about it. It's just, <laughs> my main goal here, all right, is to get my, by the time, my, my axles here, by the time I get, they get to this uh, part of the tr blue truck, that they're right, they're hugging it. Okay, now I'm going to basically, let's just try around, roughly around here. So I'm going to go ahead and just jackknife hard, but not for too long, because if I do, I'll end up in the wall. I just want to start it off pretty hard. There we go. Now we're going to start kind of balancing it where I'm trying to maintain this angle right here. All right, so looking good. Now I'm going to do a little more of a hard jackknife because I want to. I still want to get closer. I need to go a little slower. There we go. Now I got more control. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and straighten up. So when I say straighten up, that, that was the wrong word I wanted to use. I want to try to get my trailer, sorry, my truck running parallel to this wall. Okay, so basically once I can see that it's running somewhat parallel, I'm gonna straighten up my steers. Now, I like how close I'm getting to it, because that means that's good. The closer you are to the part that you can see, the further, are, the further away you are than the other one. So uh, there's gonna be a, a bunch of getting out and looking here in a minute, all right? But right now we're just gonna keep maintaining this. All right, now, Maybe get out and look roughly around here so you can see that uh, it's going to go in. Okay, let's back up again, nice and slowly. All right, so I'm going to start chasing a little bit because I think we might get too close to the trailer. As you can see, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. Of course, making sure that you are paying attention to the front of your cab once you start turning to the left. All right, so now I'm going to have you hugging the wall a little bit. All right, I definitely needed to be starting to my jackknife a little a little bit before this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do do it now and see what happens. 
All right, so we got our jack a hard jackknife going. Okay, at this point, definitely get out and look because if you can see uh, where the back of your trailer is basically inside in the middle of the spot, and because you're at this angle, that means the, the, the part that you can see is way over here. So this is definitely where you want to get out and look. All right, so we're going to keep the hard jackknife going and uh, definitely start chasing because uh, otherwise we will uh, end up in the wall. Okay, this is looking good so far. I like, I'm liking this. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like if I keep chasing the way I am, I'm gonna be straight before I am parallel. All right, but we're gonna. If I need to, I, we can readjust. But no, actually, to be honest, okay. So we're the trailer's parallel right now. All right, we're gonna keep going back though. Okay, and now we're gonna pull forward. Now, when we do pull forward, the trailer is gonna start getting more parallel to that line. Now, again, we're, we cranked our steering wheel to the right and we went as far as the wall. Now we're going to go all the way to the left. And we're just going to bring it back a lot of the way. And then we can readjust. Because the more the further back you go, there we are. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for now. You'll see in a minute why. All right, the further back you go, the more you can pull forward. Now I'm going to go off to the left. All right, as you can see, I want to bring the, uh, right now my goal is to rotate the trailer. but. Uh, so I'm going to go to the left, which is going to bring the front of the trailer to the left and the back of the trailer to the right. All right. Now, so I'm just going to pull forward. Of course, I'm going to watch for the wall. And straighten up. Here we go. Now we got our uh, the back of our trailer pointing towards exactly where I want it to be. Okay. So let's, I'm going to just go ahead and get it straight. And... Quick jackknife to the right and back to the left. So this is a this was a pretty hard back. There's no denying it. All right, but like uh, if there was a truck, if this truck was a sleeper truck, there's no way you could do it. Now uh, the reason I know that is because I set up this level to where I pulled out. Let's let me let me show you. So I'm gonna pull forward all the way forward basically all the way to the wall, all right? I'm basically maximizing my uh, my ability to get around this guy. Now, I'm gonna turn my uh, steering wheel to the right. It's gonna bring the front of my cab to the right. Go back over here to the left. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the right, and now to the left. All right, so all I'm trying to do is get around this guy. And if you can't get a, if you can't pull out of a space, you can't back into a space. It's just impossible. All right, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of pull forwards. Now I can get around the trailer no problem on on my on my left. So I'm just you got to hug everything to the right. All right, and I'm sure this is why there's a lot of scrape marks on that wall that you saw. All right, so slower the better. And uh, as you remember, my first time backing up into this space with this with these objects, I was hugging that wall the entire time I was chasing. Now, looks like yeah, I'm definitely hitting, definitely gonna hit it, definitely hitting it. Oh boy, poor guy. Sorry, dude. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I failed. Anyway, there you go. That's that back for you.